Revelation is key in your life. Divine courage is a product of revelation. Moses only acted the way he did because of revelation. David acted the way he did because of revelation. Abraham acted the way he did because of revelation. Ruth acted the way she did because of revelation. The revelation of God in your life will keep you going in the face of impossibilities. Oftentimes we want to behave in a particular way when we have no revelation and we get beaten. But when you walk in revelation, do you know that you will be so pushed to do things even when nobody else is doing it because you have caught revelation? Amen? I'm reminded of a story that I just showed you in Acts chapter 14. Why is it that Paul behaved like that? Why did Paul behave like that? Look at this. Acts chapter 26. Acts 26. Real quickly, we have three more to go. Acts 26, verse number 15. Look at verse number 15. Uh, 15. Uh, go to verse 14. Look at this real quickly. Uh, the Bible says, when we all had fallen to the ground, this is on the road to Damascus, I heard a voice speaking to me and saying in the Hebrew language, so, so, why are you persecuting me? It is hard for you to kick against the gods. Continue. And when we all had fallen, yeah, who are you? So I said, who are you, Lord? How did he even know it's the Lord? Because he had been persecuting him and he was pushing a different agenda. And he said, I am Jesus whom you are persecuting. Now, rise, look at this, and stand on your feet, for I have appeared to you for this purpose, to make you a minister and a witness, both of the things which you have seen and of the things which I will yet reveal to you. Let's continue to verse 19. I will deliver you from the Jewish people as well as from the Gentiles to whom I now send you to turn their eyes, to open their eyes in order to turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan to God and that they may receive forgiveness of sins and an inheritance among those who are sanctified by faith in me. And he says, for this King Agrippa, I was not disobedient to the heavenly vision. He caught revelation. There was something that happened on the road to Damascus with Paul that changed his whole perspective of life so that even if I am beaten, I am pushed, I am pressed, the agenda of God is paramount in my life. There is nothing, beloved, that can move you from the agenda of God. Nothing that can move you from the agenda of God. Listen, beloved, there are, I will admit, that's why the Bible says two are better than one. Because if one falls, they can be lifted up. One of the people, the strengths in my life is my partner because of their great faith. They have such great faith that even I look and say, okay, I can learn from here. The faith that I've seen in Lady C, I also can draw from there. I have faith in certain areas. She has faith in certain areas. Together, we make one. The most important thing, beloved, is to have a revelation in your life. Who is driving you? What is driving your life? What revelation do you have? You see, many of us, we are thrown around because we don't have a level of revelation in our lives. We need to have an understanding of God and the revelation that only God can give. When you walk in that undeniable conviction that it is God in this matter, it doesn't matter what comes your way. Failure may come, you try again. Problems will come, you find a way to fix it. You see, when you have a conviction that it is God, child of God, you can conquer the world. You can conquer the world. I don't know who I came to speak to today, but I want you to know you can conquer the world. The, the power and the grace that God has put in you is such that you can be a world changer. You can conquer your territory. 
Your business can scale. Your life can change. Your marriage can be an example to many. Child of God, your ministry can expand. Catch revelation. Catch revelation. I don't know who I came to speak to today. Listen, if you don't have revelation, you will walk in compromise. I'll say that again. If you don't have revelation, you will walk in compromise. Hallelujah. Turn to somebody and tell them, if you don't have revelation, you will walk in compromise. I'm telling you the truth. You will have one. You may be in this room right now, but your heart is not here. Are you hearing me, beloved? You see, the things of this world, it is very easy. You see, they are easy because they come from a wrong source. The things of God are difficult. And if you are not careful, beloved, you will find yourself living a life of compromise. Revelation is so key in your life. There's something that Paul found that he could not. You know, even the Bible says, I think it's in Romans chapter 4, what then shall we say that our father Abraham has found according to the faith? There is something that Abraham connected to with God that nothing could shake him, that he was able to take Isaac and put him on the altar because there was a conviction in him that God is at work. What about you? What conviction do you have? Because if you, are, if you cannot stand on something, beloved, you'll be moved by anything. You'll be moved by anything. You see, the quest for occultic powers, the quest to jump from this pastor to that pastor to this woman of God to that man of God is because you have nothing to stand on. I know it's hard, but this is the truth. It is the truth. Listen, oftentimes... We, you know, we are looking, hmm, hmm. I'll leave that alone. Do you know, beloved, that it is very possible for agape to scale? It is very possible for agape to grow into thousands and yet God not be in it. Because our model in this generation of doing church is that we have put God on, this, on the side. I'll show you that in another time. You see, the things of God, the things that are highly esteemed amongst men are an abomination in the sight of God. Do you have revelation for what you are doing? Or is it because you saw Pastor C do it? Do you have revelation for how you live your life? Do you have a conviction from God? You see, when you have a... Do you know the reason oftentimes we live by rules and regulations? Many of us, the truth of the matter is that we are Christians by textbook. We are not Christians by revelation. Oh, I don't know why now I'm going somewhere. It's like I feel now like I'm beginning to preach now. We live by, ah, I read this, but do you have a conviction? Oftentimes we don't do things because somebody else. When you're alone. Will you do it? Oftentimes when we go to other cities and we get excited, nobody knows us. We do things that stay there. What do they say? Those that go to Vegas, don't worry, I'm planning to go to Vegas with my sweetheart. The things we'll do will stay there. <laughs> but that is the truth. If you're honest with yourself. There are certain things you do when you're outside the circle of the believers, the people that know you as Christians. There are certain things that you do. Do you know why? Because we are Christians by textbook. But when you're a Christian by revelation, when you're a Christian by conviction, it doesn't matter who is there. It does not matter whether you are alone or not. God is number one. Paramount in your life. You are consistent in your values. I call that courage. Courage. What's that? Courage. Oh, where are we? Oh, we still have three more. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's go.